Hi. Well, it's uh, it's been a year. We've done a lot of camping in our little Kiwi. Uh, I managed to fully flip it with the help of my husband. So I wanted to show you some of the things that we've done. So walls, ceiling, everything white. We also built new cornice or curtain blind covers uh, out of wood to get a little natural texture in here. I have sewed brand new covers for every single one of the dinette pieces. I also built a new tabletop out of maple uh, plywood. Um, it's extremely strong, works beautifully, and looks great too. It's been sealed uh, with four coats of polyurethane. And as we look over here, all of our cabinets have been painted with a gloss paint. So we have gloss white with modern gold handles and we have a gloss black with matching modern gold handles um i finished out the backsplash now my initial intention was to take off that tile but i wasn't able to do it cleanly so what i ended up doing is getting a few more sheets of white subway tile getting them up and these are actually caulked or filled i guess uh, with silicone instead of a standard um, between the tile fill because I wanted a level of flexibility um, to these tiles so if for some reason things moved and shifted the tiles could move and shift a little bit they weren't locked in um, now looking at the floors we pulled up all the floors rebuilt the floors including as you can see there is now a step here and then there's one in the bathroom as well uh, we added additional plywood support as well as some steel um, bracing pieces. Uh, just one of the kind of downfalls of the construction of the Kiwi and some of the older ultralight Jayco's in general um, is that there is quite a bit of gap between some of the studs or some of the more structural pieces on the bottom. Um, so we actually had some pieces made. So... While it does still feel a little springy in a few spots, um, it's extremely strong and isn't going anywhere. It's just now it's got a little bounce. <laughs> so as far as these cabinets, again, all gloss white. Everything is white with the beautiful handles. We repainted some of the uglier spots. I also sewed new curtains for our bunk. So there's my daughters and my sons. Uh, coming back here to the back bunk, we didn't do much. It was pretty good as is. Um, also, we painted this door. This was not originally painted. I added some temporary wallpaper. Hello there. Uh, and painted the mirror and uh, the rest of the bathroom material in here. Black to match. Um, so that wallpaper only does two walls. We do have the shower. Uh, we just added a few storage elements in here, as we have used it a handful of times and really love it. Uh, on the exterior of the camper, we just keep it clean. We added some hooks. Um, we have redone the roof on the exterior of the camper, including more roof tape. Uh, so it is truly, like, seamless up there. We're not having any of the same issues that we may have once had. Um, if anybody has any questions about what we've done to the camper and how they can flip their own, feel free to comment below. Uh, you can look at some of my old videos to see exactly where we started on this. It was rough, <laughs> but uh, we're really happy with it now. It's so fun for our family. We've camped in it for two seasons. Uh, we have a very large dog. Uh, she's an Irish wolfhound and she actually is comfortable in here. Um, and we just love spending time in our Kiwi. Thanks for watching.